Number 7. The T-Rex Aero 3S A lot of these reverse trikes are kind of a hybrid between cars and motorcycles. If you aren't aware of what a reverse trike is, the T-Rex Aero is an awesome example. There are two wheels up front and one larger wheel on the back. The T-Rex was, and still is, an original design from motorcycle manufacturer Copagna, who to this day still makes some pretty awesome bikes. The T-Rex Aero has a 1350cc 4-cylinder four 4-stroke four engine which is placed at the rear of the vehicle, acting more as a jetpack for this awesome machine. To complement the aggressive body style of the T-Rex Aero 3S, it also comes with 180 degree scissor style doors. Now we aren't going to say these are cheap by any means. The normal or base model version runs about $50,000 and its souped up sister, the Arrow, will set you back about $64,000. Number 6, the 2018 Cam-Am Spider F3S. So many of you might be aware of the Cam-Am Spider. It's still a reverse trike, but more closer to a version of a motorcycle with two wheels up front. This Cam-Am is the 2018 10th anniversary Spider. Since launching its three-wheeled Cam-Am Spider RS Roadster a decade ago, Canada's Bombardier Recreational Products, or BRP, has steadily improved and expanded the Spider light on. Unlike aftermarket trike conversions with two wheels out back, the Can-Am Spider was designed from the ground up based on what BRP calls the Y architecture, with two front wheels with double A arm front suspension and an anti-roll bar, a single belt driven rear wheel and a vehicle stability system that includes stability control, traction control, and anti-lock braking and dynamic power steering. The 2018 Cam-Am Spiders are powered by the Rotex 1330 ACE inline three cylinder engine with a six speed manual or semi-automatic transmission with reverse and the vehicle stability system. If you like this style of reverse trikes to the car version, then I would definitely go out and pick up one of these today. It will set you back about 23,000 for the base models. Number five, the Invader. Forget the boring modern closed cockpit car and the snowmobile styling of the Spider. The Tandem Invader packs 197 horsepower Hayabusa motor carbon fiber with a sequential shifter, and a huge rear tire. Steering gas, brake, and clutch are like normal car layouts, and the shifting is available as a paddle or center lever. Interestingly, the design of this vehicle, and I assume others like it, allow the makers to get around and avoid certain regulations that are applied to modern cars. The regulations are more of regulations that are applied to motorcycles and superbikes. The price of this trike is a little high, starting at around 55000 The reason being is because the manufacturer Tandem actually purchases brand new Suzuki Hayabusas and disassembles them for the components which also makes Tandem the largest buyer of Hayabusa motorcycles in the US. What's even more interesting is they actually sell the takeoff parts that aren't used through various outlets in order to recoup some of the operating capital. Still kind of makes me think, why is the price so high then? Hey guys, I just wanted to give a shout out to Jason Heinrich. Jason, I'm hoping I'm saying your last name right. Jason is a Mind's Eye Design subscriber and he left us a comment on our 7 land, air, and sea vehicles you have to see to believe video. He left us an idea to share in this video. Just like any of you, you can leave us a comment with any idea and we might just feature it for you in an upcoming video. There is nothing special you have to do. Just be a Mind's Eye subscriber and leave us a comment. Thanks again, Jason, for the idea. Number four, the Elio. This is the Elio 3. Now, it doesn't look as aggressive as the others, but it does offer some advantages, such as the 84 miles per gallon and the low price point of only $7,500. So let's talk specs. The 900cc Elio is a single-doored, front-engine, front-wheel drive auto cycle that can be driven without a motorcycle license in 41 out of the 50 states. 
It fits two people tandem style and is said to weigh just over 1200 pounds. The aluminum block 3 cylinder single overhead cam gasoline engine is Elio's construction. Also, with all 55 horsepower and 55 pounds per foot of its might routed through a 5 speed ASN manual or automatic. So if you are interested in something like this, make sure to check out their site. The link is always in the description below. And thanks again to Jason for suggesting this vehicle. The Diamondback Leaning Trike Here's a roadworthy trike for you. It seems lately everyone is designing trikes, whether they are big wheels or motorcycle hybrids, they are literally everywhere. This one stands out though. The vehicle is the creation of Ohio-based electrical engineer Don Davis, who has previously worked in the automotive, pneumatics, and aerospace industries. He says, He first came up with the concept when he became a dad and was looking for a form of transportation that was exhilarating, economical, and safer than his motorcycle. The current single-seat prototype features a full steel roll cage, a Formula One-style racing seat with a five-point harness and pneumatically raised canopy. Power is provided by a 1300cc Suzuki Hayabusa engine. The pneumatic leaning system which also adjusts to the vehicle's ride height in accordance to the weight of the driver is Davis's own design. He also plans to develop a two-seater V-twin powered model along with the idea of a hybrid power plant that has a canopy which would include heating and air conditioning. Although you won't find this at your local dealership, he says he will build to order at around $30,000 per vehicle. Number 2. The Ninja 900R Powered Custom Trike This is the awesome reverse trike from AMT Machine Shop in Vancouver, British Columbia. His creation started as a Ninja 900R powertrain and then decided to build a custom cage around it. He then transformed the 900R into that more of a car design type of reverse trike. This awesome trike has a working clutch, steering, turn signals, headlights, and everything else you need to make it a legal vehicle. Well, maybe in Canada. Don't really know about the United States. Now, this isn't a car by all means. This creation can rev all the way up to 12,000 RPMs. If you look at most cars, you can only usually go to about 6,000, and some sports cars a little higher. Obviously from the video, you can see that it handles amazingly. This custom trike also utilizes custom coilover suspension, custom control arms, and various other parts from small sports cars. Unfortunately, just like the description, this vehicle is custom and is one-off, and you will most likely not see another version in the near future. But you never know, money does talk, and if you have enough of it, you probably can make something happen. Number 1. The Scorpion P6 This reverse trike looks more like an Indy car or a kart racer than a reverse trike. It is in fact closer to a motorcycle trike than a car, but man this thing looks pretty awesome. Built by Scorpion Motorsports in Miami, Florida, the P6 consists of a steel tube space frame with an aluminum semi-monocoque and seating for one, complete with steering wheel and sequential shifter, paddle shifting is of course optional. Two big tires up front with Willwood brakes have no problem slowing the Scorpion from top speeds. The standard engine in this vehicle is the 126 horsepower ZX6R engine. In spite of that, Scorpion says the P6 does 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds and 0 to 100 miles per hour in 10. Scorpion says they will be happy to build you one for a little under 30,000 and for only 6,000 more, you can get a turbo added. Not a bad deal. Hey guys, this is Amber and Alex from Minds Eye Design. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest tech. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.